Welcome to the Cyber Physical Systems Lab at Rutgers University. In this video, we are going to demonstrate our wireless wearable system for activity recognition and vital signs monitoring. The objective of this project is to give contextual information to remotely captured vital signs by simultaneously monitoring human physical activity. This correlation of vital signs with physical activity will have a tremendous impact on developing inexpensive solutions for remote health monitoring and diagnosis in the developing world. Also, health monitoring for health risk analysis in long term can also be enabled by this correlation of physical activity with vital signs. The goal of our project is to design and develop a wireless wearable suit which is nothing but a body area network of non-invasive, non-intrusive wireless sensors. This system should be capable of recognizing human physical activities on the fly using information from inertial sensors. Also, it should be capable of collecting vital signs and correlate it with physical activity. Health fitness monitoring systems enable numerous applications apart from simple medical diagnosis. Some of the applications include rehabilitation, sports medicine, and geriatric care. However, current systems for health monitoring suffer from a lot of drawbacks. They rely on the expertise of paid personnel to operate them, or they rely on self-reporting. Remember that self-reporting creates biases in human behavioral studies. Also, current systems are intrusive in the sense the subject cannot go about doing normal day-to-day -day activities while being monitored. Also, current systems are non-pervasive. For example, camera-based systems rely on a controlled environment and have privacy issues as they capture anything and everything in their field of view. Now, Let's move on to the two tasks. Task 1 is the real-time recognition of physical activities using inertial sensors. The inertial sensors that we use in our system are accelerometers and gyroscopes that give the linear acceleration and the angular velocity respectively. These inertial sensors are attached to shimmer modes which are specialized biomedical sensor modes. We collect raw data from different body sites using a wireless sensor network of these shimmer modes. As you can see in the illustration, the shimmer modes have been attached to the arms and legs of the subject. From the data collected using these shimmer modes, we use machine learning techniques and a novel window-based algorithm to classify and recognize human physical activities on the fly. For task two, which is remote collection and real-time processing of vital signs, we use specialized biomedical sensors, here ECG sensors. ECG daughter cards are available on the market that can be interfaced with shimmer modes. We collect the raw ECG data from these shimmer modes and compute the heart rate variability. Heart rate variability is the variation in heart rate over time. Heart rate here refers to the beats per minute. Why did we choose heart rate variability? Heart rate variability is a very good indicator of the health and fitness of a person. Even though the resting heartbeat is supposed to be low for a normal healthy heart, the heart rate variability needs to be high. Abnormally low heart rate variability translates to increased risk of future health problems and premature mortality. Now. Let's move on to the videos demonstrating our solutions for real-time recognition of human physical activities and remote collection and real-time processing of vital signs. The video on top demonstrates our solution for real-time recognition of human physical activities. The video on the left shows a subject performing different activities and the video on the right shows the system recognizing the activities that are being performed. The subject has shimmer modes attached to his arms and legs which have inertial sensors sitting on them. Our solution for real-time recognition of human physical activities collects these raw data from these sensors and uses machine learning tools 
and the novel window-based algorithm to recognize activities on the fly. As you can see, there is an inherent delay between the activities that are being performed and activities that are currently recognized. This is because the system can be tuned either for accuracy or for delay and we have tuned the system here for accuracy. Now let's move on to the second set of videos. In the second set of videos, again, you can see that the subject is performing different activities on the left and the graphs on the right depict the ECG data that is being collected and the heart rate variability that is being computed on the fly. The ECG sensors attached to the subject transmit ECG data wirelessly to a base station. The system computes the heart rate variability over 10 second intervals and that is what is shown in the graph in the middle. The graph at the top shows ECG data for 10 second intervals. When the person is not performing astronomous activities or is at rest, you can see that the beats per minute hovers around 60 to 70 which is the normal heart rate for an average healthy individual. When the person shifts to performing strenuous activities, you can see a sudden increase in the heart rate. The heart rate increases and hovers around 120 or 130 when the person is fully exerting. Now you can see that the subject is fully exerted and the heart rate hovers around the 120-130 mark. The bottom graph shows the heart rate variability computed over time. You can see that when the person was at rest, the heart rate was around 60 to 70 and when the person was exerting the heart rate was around 120 to 130 and the slope here refers to the heart rate variability and this is an indicator of a healthy heart. When the person is coming back to rest after a strenuous activity again the heart rate dips to around 100 and then slowly transition towards the normal values of 60 to 70. Our next step is to combine our two solutions and correlate physical activity with vital signs on the fly. Thank you for watching our video and hope that was informative.